Well, you've made it to the very last step here on the uh, sales and distribution case study. That's seven, uh, step 17. All we're going to do now is we're going to look at the uh, document flow to see what's actually happened here. So I'm on page 48 of the case study. Um, we'll go into logistics. From logistics, we're going to sales and distribution. Going to sales, order, and then we're going to display your sales order. When you click on it, your order should probably populate for you. If it doesn't populate for you, go ahead and use the search icon like you've done before. Uh, instructions are on the in the middle of page 48, just in case you don't have it. So make sure you have your um, purchase order, sales order rather, uh, in here. Once you have the sales order in it, we're going to go up to more, and then to environment, and then display, whoop, slipped off, display document flow. And all we're going to look at in this document flow is to show that um, we created an inquiry. We took that inquiry, we transferred it over to a quotation, made that into an order. We scheduled outbound delivery of it. We had the picking request that went down to the warehouse. The warehouse went, got the goods, issued it. From the accounting perspective, we sent an invoice to the customer. And finally, from the accounting um, uh, personnel, they went in and they received the, uh, the payment. So we can see everything that happened right here with one document by going in and looking at that document flow. That's all there is to the sales and distribution case study, but what we've done here, we took a customer inquiry and we completely walked it all the way through each one of the processes inside of SAP. Um, thank you for uh, taking the time to finish this up and uh, congratulations on finishing the sales and distribution case study.